Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing my 2017 beauty product favorites, and I have a lot this year. Now these products are not that are, they're not in my holy grail, but they're new products that I found this year that I really like, um, or they either just came out this year. Um, so yeah, if you wanna see my beauty picks, I have some makeup and skincare, but if you wanna find out what I love this year, continue to watch. Thanks guys. Okay guys, so my first favorite beauty product of 2017 was my Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. Oh, such a great, gorgeous colors. Great to create any kind of look, an everyday natural look to a dramatic look. It looks great on all skin tones um, from the lightest of light to the darkest of dark. Oh, totally worth the money. These shadows are impeccable. The textures, the oh, just the whole quality, the packaging, everything about this palette is just absolutely amazing. It's so sturdy too. Great for travel. I can take this eyeshadow palette and maybe one other and be set. Absolutely love this. Worth every single penny. I highly suggest you guys go try any kind of a, um, Natasha Denona's eyeshadows because they are fabulous. My next uh, beauty product is going to be another eyeshadow palette and it is from Huda Beauty. I absolutely love what she's doing with her line. She creates some fabulous products. And I absolutely fell in love with her How to Beauty Desert Dust eyeshadow palette. Now this is gorgeous. It has some beautiful warm tones and mixed with color and purple. And I have just used this nonstop since I've gotten it. When I saw that this was launching in the summer, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to get this. And as soon as it hit September 18th, <laughs> I grabbed this like such a great palette it's so versatile great for all skin tones and it really got me into working with more color this um, fall and holiday season so great buy this year I've been really obsessed with cream shadows it's been a new love of mine this um, 2017 so the first batch of cream eyeshadows that I have loved have been the touch and soul um, duo glitters so one side has like a liquid um, eyeshadow and the other side has the pigment and I absolutely love these they're so quick and easy to do a uh, eye look so glam but so quick and easy absolutely love these they have some beautiful shades I almost own all of them except for one other shade but these two happen to be my favorite and yes I highly suggest you guys get this this is a Korean beauty brand um, they have some fabulous skincare products and makeup so yes Moving on, I have more cream eyeshadows, and this is more of a drugstore version. I love these NYX um, liquid or lid lingerie mattes and shimmers. I prefer the mattes more. The quality is just hot, better, um, but great shade selection. If you want something very wearable, very quick and easy for every day, kind of neutralize the lid or give a little color, these are awesome. Like, uh, And they're great for cut creases great for all ages. I really love to use these on my mature clients. It really doesn't pick up on any texture or it shows creepiness. It's just smooth and buttery and it looks beautiful. And they work great as eye primers too. And they have an array of shades too. So great buy and they're seven bucks. This next highlighter has been the talk of the season. It's from Fenty Beauty and it's her highlighter and trophy wife. Now when this first came out, I was not sold on it. Like I saw it, I was like, oh, it's cute. It's too green gold. But then I started watching videos and I would see girls my complexion or darker apply this. And I was like, whoa, that highlight is insane. Like I have to have that. So I got it and I absolutely fell in love. I've used it a lot this year. It's definitely not like an everyday kind of highlighter, but it's great for going out. Um, Anytime you want to be extra, if you have minimal makeup and you really want a beaming highlight, it really does this. Um, and I, my next highlighter is a drugstore version, and it is the Maybelline Master Chrome. This highlight, oh my gosh, do not sleep on this highlighter. Like, I am so bougie when it comes to makeup. I will not buy unless it's more than $25. This is $9, and this is some better than some of my, like, super expensive highlighters. It is just beautiful. It is gorgeous on all skin tones, all skin types, like just breathtaking. It's so buttery and smooth. The highlight is insane. You can see it from outer space. Love this. Um, I just noticed that they came out with a new color in rose gold, so I can't wait to snag this. Um, but great. Oh my gosh, I love this. It has replaced some of my other favorites, so 
definitely on to more makeup I have some foundations um, my first foundation this year that I absolutely fell in love I still love it and I don't even have my correct shade so I cannot wait to get it when I do have the right shade it is the Huda Beauty um, the Huda Beauty foundation that just came out the faux filter high coverage cream foundation this is like part of my holy grail now um my max studio fix is one of my favorite foundations in the world this is right on track with it and i still have the wrong shade and i still love it so i have the shade currently right now chocolate mousse uh 450g it is too golden on me so i need the next shade up which is mocha i believe and that will be, I think, my perfect shade because I've had cocoa and that was like too dark. I think the mocha will be perfect, but it is so full coverage, but it doesn't feel full coverage. It looks so spectacular on the skin. It doesn't show any texture or fine lines. It sits beautifully. It has a matte but soft radiance too. It is just, it, there's no words. And the price is amazing. Like this foundation is bomb. And I love, like a lot of people I heard like, like oh it's on a plastic bottle but like i love a plastic bottle especially when you travel you have tile floors like this is great because i drop my stuff all the time and i love that this will not break um i highly suggest you guys go out and if you can't get a sample if you can't my next foundation is a Giorgio Armani foundation and I recently got this in the summertime. Um, all of my higher end foundations just weren't looking as nice as I would like them to in the summer. So I discovered this is from Giorgio Armani. It's, her, it's his Power Fabric Longwear High Coverage Foundation. I would say it's a medium coverage, um, but beautiful. The shade range is fabulous and it's super long wearing. This got me through my summer months. I love this. I know a lot of people love the Luminous Silk, which I do too. But this gave me the coverage I wanted and the longevity I wanted. Great foundation. It is as it is more on the pricey side. I suggest whenever Sephora is having their sale or Giorgio Armani, I noticed has a lot of beauty sales. Like he'll, they'll do 15 or 20 percent off, like at least once a month. I would grab that then because this is such a great foundation and I absolutely love it. So moving on, um, the last of my foundation picks for 2017, I will definitely have to say is the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation. This is a drugstore brand. Absolutely love it. They're literally $6 and I have to mix the two shades because they don't have my correct shade. But um, I mix mocha and cocoa together and I get my perfect match. I actually have it on today. On camera, it looks a little red. I don't know why, um, but it really isn't that red. It is beautiful foundation. It's full coverage, matte, wears all day. Um, there's just, it's awesome. This got me through my summer months as well. And it just looks fabulous on camera, off camera. It looks good all the time. It, the only downside is that it smells like paint, but other than that, great foundation. Like it's everything that you could want in a foundation. Probably one of my favorite like foundations in the drugstores. So I would highly suggest you guys try it. I've heard such great things. Um, a lot of YouTubers have reviewed this and really have compared it to some of their favorite high-end foundations. So I great. have um, powder. So. It's hard for me to find really good powders and this year has t Too Faced um, loose setting powder has taken over my Laura Mercier powder. I absolutely love this powder. It has changed my life, changed my makeup. I absolutely love this. There's so much product in here um, and I've had this for literally a year now, almost a year, and I have not run out of it yet. I'm not even, I think I'm halfway almost great powder it smooths to perfection it controls oils it doesn't crease it doesn't cake you can set your whole face with it like you can bake with this powder if you're dry you can bake with this powder and not that you need to but if you wanted to you could do it with this i powder. am going to talk about bronzers now it is so difficult for me to find bronzers i have a few in my collection that work for me actually not a few i would say i have one which is my bobby brown deep bronzer and I love it to death but sometimes I like to switch it up and have different options so I recently discovered Guerlain terracotta bronzer and intense number no. nine this is the perfect cinnamon tone bronzer for like darker skin girls like ah oh, so pretty smells delicious it has a little radiance but it's not sparkly or glittery 
Um, I love this bronzer. It's so hard to find, but I was able to find it at Tyson's Corner Galleria and I think Blooming, Bloomingdale's and they had this at their counter and just such a great bronzer. They're known for having the best bronzer too and I will definitely say this is one of my favorites. I use this one in my Bobbi Brown bronzer all the time and I'm so glad I was able to find another bronzer for my skin tone that works. Moving on, I found a new brand. Um, it's called Glossier. I discovered this recently. Um, I've heard such great reviews online. You know, you see their ads on Facebook and YouTube, but this is awesome. So I went to their showroom um, in New York when I went for Fashion Week and they, um, they had all their products. So it was really nice for me to be able to touch and see and feel rather than just purchasing things online and hoping for the best. But this like, this is my favorite brow gel like hands down I really thought I would prefer the clear version more but I ended up liking the black a lot it is so nice and precise and it really grooms the brows it really gives nice color oh so good like these boy brows are fabulous setters like my next is probably one of everything's my favorite and I love everything but this lash glue has changed my life tremendously. It's the House of Lashes. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's the House of Lashes lash glue, and this is in clear. Um, this lash glue is awesome. It's latex free, which is fabulous because a lot of um, like a lot of my clients have a lot of allergies, so it's nice to have something that I know won't be irritating. Um, this is awesome it dries so quickly your lashes are on all day you don't see the glue oh, so good it's nine bucks I used to use the duo and it was just too sticky and oh, it just wasn't working this is awesome Go get it. I have my favorite mascara I don't really have that many favorite mascaras because mascaras it just takes a lot to make my natural lashes look like I have anything on so I discovered this essence um, Princess Lash Mascara. I saw this on an article on Refinery29 and I was like, no, let me go get that and see. And it is fabulous. It's $4.99 and it does wonders. I have, when I say I have zero eyelashes, I have zero eyelashes. This makes me look like I have somewhat of eyelashes. I was blown away. I've tried every mascara you can think of and the ones that I do really like transfer or don't last as long. This does not transfer, it is not a pain to take off, it uh, it volumes, it lengthens, you can build and build, it doesn't look clumpy or chunky. Okay guys, so that was all for my makeup picks. Um, moving on to skincare, I have a lot of skincare. I absolutely love skincare, now you guys know I like makeup a lot, but skincare I realize is like the most important thing and so I spent a lot of money on skincare and um, yeah, so. Let's get in. So my first skincare pick of 2017 has to be the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Cream. This cream is fabulous. It's 40 bucks, which is a great price point for a really good high quality um, moisturizer. It's super moisturizing, lightweight, um, not super heavy or clogging, but oh, the moisture that this gives your skin and then the texture and the smell, it is great for summer, it's great for winter. This moisturizer is amazing. I absolutely love this. On my next favorite moisturizer um, is from La Mer. This is definitely more of a pricier one, but it is fabulous. Now I say this moisturizer, but it's really meant to be used kind of like a skin perfecter, like a primer treatment. Um, I really, I would say this is very similar to the Sicily primer that everybody raves about, um, but I prefer the La Mer one actually a little bit better because you get more product for the price um, and it just leaves your skin super flawless, smooth, and beautiful. Okay. Um, I found a new eye cream. It's a recently new product. It is the Sunday Riley Autocorrect Eye Cream. This is wonderful. It brightens, it deep puffs, it moisturizes. Um, just a great all around everyday eye cream. I like to use this during the day just because it does depuff tremendously. Um, I get really puffy baggy eyes. So this has been a lifesaver. Um, it is a newer product. So I've had um, about a month of continuing using this. And I definitely will say this has been an amazing add to 2017. And I'm sure it'll take me into 2018. So it is um, the 
Drunk Elephant TLC Serum. This is a glycolic serum. It has 12% AHA and BHAs. Um, this serum is awesome. I use this a lot. Um, definitely you want to use this at night and um, wear sunscreen during the day. But this does wonders. Um, I started out using this every day and it really jacked my skin up. So definitely use it three times like a week. Um, great great serum. I definitely was hesitant on buying this just because I really like strong effective skincare. So when I see these Sephora skincare lines, sometimes I'm like, I uh, wonder how good it is. Is it really going to exfoliate? Is it, does it really actually have 12% AHA or is it like a derivative or is it like a smaller percentage just because I don't know, they don't put strong things out on the market because a lot of people have so much sensitivity. So definitely slept on this. I'm glad I tried it out. Definitely one of my favorites. And I actually just got them um, for Christmas, their vitamin C serum, and I've been loving it. It smells and feels like my um, SkinCeuticals uh, C for Relic. That's $162, but it, it's $80 instead. So great buy. I'll keep you guys updated on that. And um, if you want to review, just let me know. I can definitely do that. Um, I discovered The Ordinary this year and blown away by all of their products. Like, it is truly amazing and for a price point like I don't think I've seen um, anything on their line on their line for more than 14 bucks so um, to start off I'd love their eye caffeine solution great for deep puffing super moisturizing love this um, there's no words to describe I say if you can get it just order it and get it next is their Ageline 10% solution this is like liquid Botox literally it like paralyzes any like fine lines like I like to apply it on my smile lines uh crow's feet and forehead and my face is snatch for the day <laughs> it's definitely an instant result I'm sure it has a little long-term effect but it really helps kind of dissolve those fine lines so love this product and then I really love their salicylic acid treatment two percent um it's great, super effective, but it's not super harsh on the skin. I discovered a really fabulous new skin mist, and it's from Amore Pacific. This is their Moisture Bound Skin en Energy Treatment Spray. This is fabulous. It smells so freaking good. It's so refreshing, so misting. I wouldn't say this is a, like a makeup setting mist, but definitely a skincare step. So I always spritz my face with this. Um, after each skincare step. So I'll tone, then I'll spray, then I'll put my serum, then I'll spray, then I'll do my moisturizer and spray. It is such a great skin mess. Like, oh, it feels so freaking good. It smells amazing. It really brightens and like just helps everything with my skin. If I'm having any breakouts, like i never thought a skin mess could do this, but this does and it is fabulous. Um, and I feel like it's not talked enough, uh, talked about enough, like by far one of the best skin mists I have ever used. So, um, and if you go on Sephora, they have like, it has fabulous reviews, like, and the price point is really good. Like if you've been wanting the Tatcha, I say get this, it's $35 and maybe better because I have the Tatcha and I love that one too. This is a product, is the Kate Somerville Exfoli Kate. This is such a great exfoliator it really helps um get, take away all the dead skin it tingles a little bit you leave it on you massage and rinse it out and it is just such a great exfoliating treatment i was definitely super impressed it is expensive so i suggest you get the travel size which is like 24 dollars, and it'll last you forever um but great exfoliator definitely a new one for me all right, and so my last product of 2017 has to go to the MAC Strobe Cream. This is brand new to me. I haven't used this in like years, and I got the newer color, Peach Light, and I really love this for a glowy makeup look. Um, I like to mix it with my foundation or put it over my favorite moisturizer. Just for that extra added touch of glow, it really does give the skin such a beautiful luminosity and texture and glow. And it also I feel like helps color corrects too. So whenever I'm having like a dull day or if I'm feeling like I'm like looking really dry and parched, this does magic. and. It's just such a great luminous moisturizer and it's definitely a dupe for my favorite Bobbi Brown Luminating Skin Balm, which is like $65. Great purchase. Um, everybody can use this in their skincare routine. Uh, so good. And I feel like it kind of primes too, so 
great one. All right, guys, so that is it for my 2017 uh, beauty product favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what your favorite products were or if you have any other suggestions. Um, thank you so much, guys, and I look forward to seeing you guys a little bit more. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see next. And yes, Happy New Year's. It's about to be 2018, and I hope you guys have a fabulous holiday. Thank you so much. Bye.